Welcome back to the channels. My name is Thomas Fletcher and I'm the host of both the LCSW Network and the Military Social Work Network. If you're new to both of my channels, please do me a favor by smashing that like button, by subscribing to the channels, and by sharing this video with your social work colleagues and friends. The purpose of both of these channels is to create a community of hope and support where social workers can come for relevant news, information, and inspiration. Well, welcome back to Ask a Military Social Worker. We are continuing our life planning series. The title of this video is Life Plan 203 for College Graduates. All right, so just my standard disclaimer that this video is not being sponsored, endorsed, or promoted by any branch of the military or governmental agencies, and the views and opinions stated in this video are mine alone. Furthermore, I am not a military recruiter. The purpose of this video is strictly for educational purposes only. All right, so this video is um, again directed for recent college graduates, um, either under the uh, between the ages of 30 and 35, and there's there's basically one reason why I've stated that that age requirement of 30 to 35. In today's video, we are talking about another life plan pathway. Uh, and that pathway is Officer Candidate School. Um, Officer Candidate School is a, is a program, um, military program established to train the next generation of officers in the U.S. military. And um, the Army has uh, OCS, the Navy has OCS, um, I believe Air Force does as well. Um, Marines, I believe Marines do. Uh, Marines has an OCS program. Um, but as all of you know, I'm an Army officer. I've been serving in the reserve component of the Army uh, for over 12 years. And I'm also a civilian social worker in the Department of Veterans Affairs that's been serving for over 20 years. Um, so, you're a college graduate, you're between the ages, you're under the ages of, of 35. Why OCS? Well, if you're struggling in the civilian job market and uh, you want to you wanna, you wanna live uh, a good life, purpose-driven life, you want to be in service to other, other folks, consider, uh, consider a career, consider a life serving in the military. Okay, and you could, you could, what you could do is you could um, talk to a recruiter, let them know that, first of all, you are a college graduate and that you would like to uh, sign up for officer candidate school. And again, you can talk to, um, you can talk to the Navy recruiter, you can talk to the Army recruiter, you can talk to the Air Force recruiter, you can talk to the Marine recruiter. Um, not sure if Coast Guard has OCS, but you could talk to the Coast Guard as well. See if they have, see if they have OCS, right? So if you're, and if you wanted to do reserve, if you wanted to do OCS in the reserves, you can. Um, that's why I said, uh, if you're, th if you are 35 and under, you could talk to the Army Reserve about going to OCS. Um, now, if you wanted to do active duty, you have to be under the age of 30. 30 is the cutoff for active duty. But if you're, say, 31, you could talk to the Army Reserve and um, you could do OCS as a reservist, right? You could do OCS as a reservist. And then you could, um, you could, you could have a 20-year career, either in the reserves or active duty. Especially if you do, if you, if you go active duty, um, let's say again, you're a recent college graduate, meaning that you're in your early twenties, you could do, you could do a 20 years or more, you know, active duty. And then you could do something else when you get out of the military, if you wanted to, you know, now let's say you wanted to, let's say you wanted to, um, 
become a social worker and you, you haven't gotten your MSW yet, you, you certainly could do that. Again, like I said, you could, you could do, um, you could go the reserve route. Again, you could become like an army reservist. Um, you could go to school, get your MSW, um, you know, either in a full-time program or part-time program. Um, and again, there's a lot of different educational benefits of joining the military um, on the active duty side as well as on the reserve side, right? But again, this, this, this video in particular is about doing officer candidate school. Uh, when you finish officer candidate school, you're gonna come out as a second lieutenant. And then you can choose any branch, you know, that you wanna, you wanna serve, you know, you wanna serve in. You know, you could, you could choose medical, you could choose logistics, you could choose quarter, quartermaster, um, combat arms. Right, the, the army has a lot of different branches within the army um, that you could choose from. Nursing, uh, chaplaincy, you know, there's a lot. Infantry, um, artillery, right? You could serve in any of those uh, branches within the army or the other, other branches of the military as an officer. All right, so again, um, I see a lot, again, I see a lot of videos where young people are struggling. They're, they're coming out of college. They're having a hard time finding work. I would encourage you to, to give the military, at least, at least talk to a recruiter, you know, of, of course, you know, you have to do your due diligence, you know, um, there's pros and cons certainly to, to joining the military. Um, but there's pros and cons to everything in life, right? Pros and cons. As I've talked about in other videos, you join the military, especially if you join active duty as a young person. Now you don't have to worry about housing for the next two to four, six to 20 years. You know, you don't have to worry about your food costs, you know, cause you're gonna get, you're gonna, especially if you're living on base, you're gonna get free housing. You're gonna, you're gonna be eating in the DFAC, the dining facility. Right. If you're if you're living off off base, you're gonna you're gonna get basic allowance for housing. Um, you're gonna get an allowance for food, um, and all kind of other bonuses and entitlements. Right. So again, just just providing some some alternate solutions, alternate opportunities. Here's another. Here's another thing that came to my mind the other day. <clears throat> we all know how much the, the US, you know, how much we spend uh, in military as well as in Department of Veterans Affairs. You know, that's, that's, another, that's another kind of consideration to give the military. You know, no, no, one, is, no one is gonna be decreasing the budget of the military or the, or the vet, Veterans Affairs anytime soon. So you might as well, get a little piece of the action, right? Especially if you're struggling for work. You know, again, you don't have to do a 20 year career in the in in active duty. You could do you could do 4 years, 6 years, 8 years active duty. And then you, you know, get your honorable discharge. Um, if you did get injured while you served in the military, whether it's combat related or non-combat related, now you can go to the VA and you can apply for service connection, disability compensation. You can apply for the VA for chapter, chapter 31 education benefits, chapter 35 uh, if you have dependents, um, that will allow your dependents to go to, uh, to college or university um, at no cost to you. So officer candidate school is another is another pathway that you can consider um, after you've, again, this is for college graduates. You've got, you've already gotten your college graduate. You've already gotten your bachelor's degree. All right, but you're still struggling. Give OCS an opportunity. You know, you're going to get excellent training to become an, an officer in any of in any of the branches that has the OCS program. Whether whether we're talking Army, Navy, 
uh, Air Force. Um, again, I'm not sure about the Marines. They may have an OCS program. They probably do. But again, do your, do your homework, right? Talk to, talk to different recruiters. Find out which, which, uh, which branches give the most, you know, in training and bonus, sign up bonuses, you know, that kind of thing, you know. Also, look at the, look at the branches where um, they have the trainings that you're looking for, you know. Um, maybe I'll make, a, I think I will make another video. Um, because if you're interested in becoming a medical professional, the military will pay for that training as well. That, that, that'll be another video. For now, um, this is all about officer candidate school for those college graduates that again, struggling in the civilian workforce. All right, so I'm gonna stop right there, but I wanna thank you all for watching this video. For all the social workers and other licensed mental health professionals, thank you for the work that you do every day for your clients, for your agency and for the profession. Please continue to support each other and yourselves. Bye for now.